Welcome to the 2020 Absolute Classics Festival. I want to take this chance to say a huge thank you to the trusts and foundations, sponsors and individual donors who have helped to make this festival possible. A special thanks goes to Stringers of Edinburgh for them sponsoring tonight's performance. Stringers is Scotland's leading specialist string instruments shop, selling and repairing instruments and bows from beginner to professional level. Run by friendly and experienced staff and players, you can find out more on their website, stringersmusic.com. You too can become a supporter of Absolute Classics by checking out one of the links in the description below. This evening's performance is given by the cellist Benedict Klockner. He is one of the leading cellists in his generation, and it gives me great privilege to welcome Benedict back to perform for you this evening. So sit back and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Absolute Classics 2020. <laughs> I'm very happy to play for you tonight a program by Bach, Elisondo and Kodai. I think it's a fantastic project Alex McSquiston and his team are doing here for the audience, but also for the musicians. They enable us to still share our music in these difficult times with you. And that's something absolutely beautiful. And I think uh, it would be wonderful if you can imagine supporting them with this fantastic um, project. And I'm very happy to play for you now some Bach, the six suite. It's like kind of the highlight of the cycle. It's like original composed for a five string instrument for Rion Cello Piccolo. It's very big amplitude, very virtuosic and for support, I always said it reminds him on a, of an Easter Sunday on which all the church bells are ringing. So let's enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a wonderful sixth bass suite. And the next piece is very much related to the bass suite because it's absolutely inspired by the jig of the sixth suite. It's by Jose Alexander, a wonderful Mexican composer who just composed it a couple of days ago. So it's like really, really, the ink is um, still not dry, you would say. <laughs> Could say, yeah, it's like, also inspired by my region because when I asked Jose to write a piece for this time he also asked me where I'm from and he created this piece called um, Under the Stars of the Rhine so and it's about a story about a knight who rides along the Rhine with many adventures and him discovering the beautiful nature and the castles and it's a, a very beautiful piece and I hope you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
dear friend Jose Alessandro's wonderful piece Under the Stars of the Rhine. The last piece I'm going to play for you is also a very virtuoso piece, uh, which was composed by Sultan Kodai. It's very much inspired by anger and folk music because, you know, uh, Bartok and Kodai, they were traveling over the whole country collecting all the original folk tunes. And I think you can also very much feel that in this piece. And it really goes to the maximum of range of what a cello can do. And you even tune down the two lower strings to have like an even darker and a bigger amplitude of the cello. There's a funny anecdote about the sonata, like when there was a young student in Budapest Academy who practiced this piece for two years. And then he played it in the big hall of the conservatory and Kodai actually was in the audience. So the young student was very excited and after the concert, Kodai came on stage and the student said to him, thanks Maestro that you came, it's such an honor. And Kodai said, um, would you do me a favor? And the student said, yes, of course. And then Kodai said, please play this piece never again. <laughs> so it's actually a very challenging piece, but I think incredible music. And I hope you will not say afterwards like Kodai. <laughs>
Thank you.
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this performance, please follow Absolute Classics on the social media. They have a lot of great projects going on. And thanks so much for listening tonight. Stay healthy and happy. And I hope to see you sometime in a live performance. And until then, um, it's great that we have the digital form to share music together. Thank you.